So no, you didn't stumble on an old video in your feed. Check the date. This is 2023, almost 2024, and things just got weird. Why? Because we're going to check out a Sonoff Basic. Yeah, we got to come in tight. Back in the day, before a lot of different smart switches and everything came out, this was the bee's knees because we made weird stuff. Like I took a dollar store freaking little power splitter. I'm not going to call this a surge protector, but I guess that's kind of the term that people coined. But this was just a simple, this is how we made smart plugs. We had to use a Sonoff Basic. And no, I did not cut the ground. I actually did pass the ground through here. So don't worry. I've seen too many people do that. But we don't need to make these anymore because now you can go get... Even that ESP32 Wise outdoor plug for like what ten fifteen dollars, but this is how we had to do it, kids. So, and then we had to open these things up, and they had pin headers, and well, then Sonoff said, "Hey, we're gonna make it better," but they didn't, and then um, the wheels fell off on the whole Sonoff Basic, and I think they changed the shift to go to something else until things got weird. And we're doing it again. So, um, I don't know. I haven't opened this. I've seen the FCC picks for this. It was, I'll ruin it now for you. It is an ESP32C3. I think even the specs call it blue, with Bluetooth on it, which is, you know, that would be an ESP32. Kind of pointless to go ESP8266 with a new device. And just to prove this is the right year, I will open this guy here, which they're also getting into the Zigbee MM wave thing too. So stick around or you can just jump the chapter down and skip to that and we'll see what we can do with this guy. But let's jump into this. Is, where's my pointer? My great little screwdriver pointer is, yeah, we didn't care too much or at least I didn't. I was too dumb about the whole 15 amp, 20 amp thing on breakers. And yeah, we put these inside of our walls and some people even, you know, wrap these in electrical tape. I don't know why, but uh, I'm not going to name any names and it was, it was not me. So this is 10 amp. Um, do what you will there. Um, maybe we'll do a test on this a little short test of uh running 15 to 20 amps through one of these and see if it'll smoke so let's pop this baby open so it looks like they've gone with the same design as really the the og one i mean is that the same case and same molds and everything just go back old school right interesting okay sometimes newer isn't better if you ever updated software in the IT world you will definitely understand what I just said newer is not always better all right let's take a man even closer because I want to see exactly what chip that is yes i'm gonna say esp 32c3 if we can get the thinking about doing the test i remember even some of us because the traces did not have enough solder bridge on them we would actually run additional solder on this to um, make them beefier because sometimes there was massive gaps in there and we do have the pin headers there as well. Let's look at inside. So they got a little pad on top of here. 15 amp at what voltage? Looks like 15 amp at 125, 10 amp at 250 volts AC. So they actually did label them again for us. 3V3, RX, TX, and ground. And... You know, do remember this is the ESP32C3. So if you're going to put Tasmoto on it or ESP Home, you do need to make that decision now because you cannot OTA between the two of them with the latest version of Tasmoto because the way they do the different partitions, unfortunately. So no frills, Sonoff Basic. Things are weird in 2023, no doubt. What would you use this for? 
And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to flash it without even trying in the Ewe Link app because I'm not putting my shit in the cloud. Sorry. So IT jumping into the whole MM Wave craze. I do want to check this against some other MM Waves. I got some stuff coming up with that um, because I like doing comparisons of things. So let's take all this out. Um. Man, eh, let's not. Just USB cable. Looks like USB C. Good to see that. They got some, um, I guess, to run the wire on the wall. Screw it down if you want. This looks like the mount. We'll play around with that and a little 3M sticker. I want to see the actual device itself. It's actually smaller than I thought. And that's not what she said. Um, and <laughs> speaking of that, <laughs> um, let's move on. So, looks like the sensor face, it just magnetizes. That's interesting. And that is actually kind of a cool mount. But I do wish it was a screw type mount because I know on the MM Waves is if you have got this direction of it and you really want to make sure it's not looking at something that's moving, you don't want it to move. And if something bumps this for some reason, like you're dusting the wall or whatever, it could, you know, push this like this where, you know, someone cleaning and didn't know and then now your sensor doesn't work. So I would like to have seen a mount that actually has a screw down to lock it down. More like a, a turret, not the real link one that doesn't have a set screw, but actually a turret that actually has a set screw on it, like a camera. That'd be cool. So a button on there. Um, I don't want to see if this is going to work with uh, Zigbee to MQTT. Um, I don't know, being this new, if it is going to work, but being an IT sensor, I don't, I doubt it will take long to get into the actual thing. So let's try and pair this up. I don't have an Ewe Link hub that's in the cloud, so I can't do that there. Sorry. Things even got a little bit weird. Is and talk about the little red guy. This is that little CP2102. And it works great for flashing a lot of different things. And I did notice that the pins were exactly the same. Let me zoom in here. They were the same exact order. So all I did is I bent. Let me get the zoom. Get the focus right. All I did was bend my little 5 volt pin out the way a little bit. And just shoved it in there it's stuck in at an angle but it's in there you can see from the back it is through the little pin headers right there and I just flashed it and sent over Tasmoda ESP home whatever you want without any damn jumpers that's pretty slick so if you want to set yours up with Tasmoda or ESP Home, I'll spare you the boring process that I did record. Just go down to Devices, then go to Relays, and look for the Sonoff Basic R4 on my website. And I got all the stuff there. If you want to purchase it, FCC ID docs, got the Tasmoda template, GPIO layout, and the entire ESP Home YAML. Now, I did have an issue with, I did use the stock ESP32 C3 in this version. It would not boot. That seems to be kind of common using the ESP IDF, what I've found. And so I just stuck with these settings that I've always used on my website and it booted and the Bluetooth proxy works fine. So everything's all there and uh, maybe I'll include that somewhere if someone really wants that footage. Now, so I did pair the Sonoff radar, the MM wave up with Zigbee to MQTT. Like I say, it is a router. And so, it, you know, it is, you know, off of mains power, that USB. It doesn't expose a whole lot right now. It just the link quality and really just the binary sensor, if it's occupied or not. Um, it's 
I've had it in the room, turn just like other MM Wave, you turn the ceiling fan on, it's gonna just show occupied all the time. Um, I didn't find any sensitivity that they have set up for Zigbee to MQTT right now. Maybe that they'll go through it that's actually in the actual you know, device configuration itself. Someone will kind of sniff that back out, but at this time it's not there in here, maybe in the future. So it does kind of work. I was gone for a while and it did show clear. You can see I've been in and out the room. Now the ceiling fan is not on right now. Um, but yeah, we'll look at it more and see what kind of, you know, distance and stuff it has. And we'll see if we can include it in a later video. So that'll be it for this one. Yeah, Bluetooth proxy running on a Sonoff Basic. I would have never thought this would be a thing, but hey, weird things happen. So I appreciate IT for seeing this along and uh, hopefully maybe we'll see some more out of the MM Wave sensor as we dig a little deeper into that one. So yep, you know the drill. Press all them buttons down there and y'all take care.